Yo, what up? I just have to note that this game has some flashing lights, so be careful. I honestly would recommend not even looking at the screen while the game is on. If you want to just listen to it audio only, even if you don't want to watch the video at all, yeah, go ahead. This game actually did give me like a little bit of a headache, so be careful. Introducing Bear Surfing Mega Wave. So here's where we have to go. There is a supercharged bear. Fortunately, this is a, a very polite bear as opposed to the last appearance of such a bear. You got scores and submarines. I am not going to make a topical joke. Sub. Right there, that's a subtitle. The sub subtitle. Ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, and, and big flish. Blah, blah, blah. And that's a gameplay, which is privated actually. Oh, it's. Well, that video, this video is lost of time. And what kind of time? Well, this, uh, uh, the time started October 14th, 2012. I should pick a, here, yeah, here, October 14th, 2012. I need to stop going to that small timestamp. The description goes as such. A short, difficult, fast-paced, crazy, weird arcade game with hectic graphics. You are bare, self-titled, surfing a mega wave. Use the mouse to maneuver the bear not the bear, just bear, around obstacles. Try to get crates and health packs. When the counter reaches zero, you win. Music by Scroganaut at, at newgrounds.com. And you have some actual commentary by the author himself. I still think the game needs some adjustments and more work on the ending. This was made in Game Maker. This is for all agents with cart, not agents, but I guess agents can play it too. All ages, cartoon violence, animated bloodshed, and alcohol reference for all ages. Funky Tech is actually the title. And this is the first time this has been downloaded. And uh, not downloaded, not downloadable. And has a song title. I'm kind of messing up my words. So for people who are, of course, historians, some will note that I've skipped over Slumos by Jake Clover. And the reason is pretty simple. It's because this game is really unfinished. And to me, I don't want to judge a game that is unfinished. That's like judging a band by one of their demo or outtakes that they've released. It just doesn't feel that's truly how you're supposed to define the band. I guess sometimes though, demos can be a primary release for a certain underground bands like Brave Little Abacus. That's a pretty obscure band. I think most, depending on where you come from, that's a very unknown band. But where I come from, it's very well known. But my point is, I don't think you should entirely judge a band by the outtakes or the demos, the unfinished material, so on and so forth. I don't, if a song is not finished being mixed and mastered, I think it's not quite ready to be judged. Jake Clover. A game by Bear Surfing Megaway. And I think, as we've seen in the title sequence, I think the flashing lights make a comeback a little bit too much, in my opinion. But maybe I'm just uh, too sensitive to that. Absolutely no surfing or. Damn, that looks hell gnarly, dude. Looks. Holy moly. Go for it, dude. Stoner Giraffe. Get. Get uh, crates and med kits, avoid sharks and mines, move bear with mouse, watch your health, and click anywhere. Game start. And of course, uh, you have to tank it or tough it out. Some people say it as if they were Texan. I think Texan is like the tough it out. The health and the mines tend to overlap apparently, and so I'm not quite Texan enough to say tough it out. Uh, I don't know what fish do. You dead. You de- So I guess- I guess the fish are the mini boss of the game, and uh, that's this is this is uh, some some dude who's a pescatarian on a Mediterranean diet out somewhere out there is gonna use this as an excuse to have justify their pescatarian habits, and uh, somehow it's gonna be one of the most ironclad arguments that has ever been made in uh, the philosophical history. No ph philosopher, I can't even name them, right? Why would I be able to name philosophers? So the, they're. Uh, and you got to go around them. I, why would I be able to name philosophers who are able to even debate such... What? The, okay, the, the font here is actually too difficult to read through, but I just see 
flying colors going on in my head and uh, in front of me just simultaneously but i'm not pretending that this is some sort of drug trip another supercharge whatever that means because apparently i'm collecting enough for a supercharge like, i don't even see a meter besides the health i have and this sub is just shooting in the same time uh okay i can't wait for it to get bored or do i interact with it or i'm dead if i'm supposed to do anything there which i probably am but uh i can't figure it out i can't figure out why sharks go after me i can't figure out why so many how, how this wave can manifest so many different objects and why there's so much litter in the oceans maybe that's like kind of the secret commentary that we're trying to get to we are we're dumping too many sharks into the ocean uh, and we are not allowing health kits to grow and prosperity and apparently our fish are a little bit supercharged by all the all the sea dragons and seahorses that allow for supercharged bears to arrive arrive on the scene uh, after a cutscene in fact so speaking of the morality of uh, I guess pescatarians I wonder what the argument is against bears actually trying to fulfill their dreams of surfing on waves against minefields against sharks and one could argue this is an anthropomorphic uh, case study for a different society that definitely functions differently than ours i i don't even know what surfing laws are in this universe i Maybe I should have looked that up. Uh, I should have done my just desserts of a research uh, section segment right before I even decided to click begin or escape. Maybe, you know what? You know what? I'll look that up right now. Surfing laws. Sur Black ball blues, the history of surf laws and regulations. Okay, can I get a Wikipedia article? There's no description of surfing laws on Wikipedia. Okay, I gotta go to surfer.com 2017 so you know it's so outdated that it's practically describing uh, all the events from a pre-COVID perspective. The bright yellow flag with the solid black cir circle, the signal for surfers to clear the water at many urban beaches, the black ball, has made its despised path up the flagpole since the 1960s. Just as coastal communities feared the effects of surfing's troublemakers on local beaches, an unofficial cleanup campaign ensued. A city enforced regulations, some practical like the black ball, others disciplinary like mandatory surfboard licensing programs crack down on surfers. But the reason behind the oversight were complicated. So apparently flags are the method of jurisdiction over surfers, which is a, you know, I don't have much knowledge of surfers. I think uh, as we all know, surfers tend to use radical in their vocabulary. And maybe it's that sort of vocabulary that prompts many to consider surfers as perhaps a little bit rebellious. I don't know if surfers are necessarily rebellious. I mean, there is like surf punk, the the genre of music, but I don't think surf punk is something that is commonly listened to or even created as music. My point is when, when the flag goes up, do the surfers listen to it? Are there surfers that really do consider their safety? So what if in response to such a gnarly wave, dude, that there are actual flags being put up right now just behind the scenes that we can't see because of course there's an entire wave blocking our our, our viewpoint but i think that the safety of the waters is definitely i mean it's definitely not in order clearly with all these fishes that are trying to prey on bears right for one it is the opposite way around now i understand a little bit what jay clover was trying to do with that right with the I, the snappers trying to go after the bear because usually bears in woodland areas go after the snappers right we all know the iconic scene where the bear is right on top of the creek and they're just waiting for and these everything's so hard to dodge but they're, anyway the bears are just waiting for fish to just jump up and here it is the actual other way around now I understand, right? That is the sort of subversion that one would not expect under normal circumstances because no one plays the uh, surfing bear games. Because well, once again, we don't expect bears to understand how to surf. That's ridiculous, right? Bears can barely use their hind legs, I would imagine, or maybe they can, because again, I haven't done research on bears on surfing at, at all times. Just don't give me any license to surf. Don't give me a license to bear to bear it all like I'm like I'm Rise from Persona 4 Golden which is an interesting way to translate that line but it's just stuck with me simply put anyway yeah I should really look up uh I well 
forgot what I wanted to look up. I want to look up what, like surfing regulations or, or, or bears and the uh, food. Anyway, a minor detail to note that uh, is actually I actually do appreciate it, despite the fact that it's pretty subtle. Is the the bear does take visible damage when you are on your last bit of health? I think there is uh, it has like a eye patch or something like that. The scenery is so chaotic. I don't understand how I'm supposed to vibe with it, which is quite contrary, perhaps, to what a, sto a stoner surfer would even attempt to convey. I think most uh, surfers around the province uh, of the United States, known as Hawaii, tend not to think of themselves as really being, as one would say, harshed out the mellow. And it, these are all stereotypes, but I feel like they must be kind of inappropriate for stereotypes. Because we, we try not to stereotype a lot of things. Maybe similarly, me stereotyping fish as, as, this, as a type of creature that would eagerly reach out to the bear in, in, in recompense, maybe revenge for all the actions that a bear kind has committed against their own kind. It is definitely one that, one that they feel is deserved, you know, to serve up revenge and the silver platter that goes up on the other way. And when I say silver platter, I mean, of course, we're talking about the surfboard because surfboards can be likely used as, as plates in some luxurious restaurant wherein people will take a picture of the plate being the surfboard and then they'll like post it on Instagram and say this is actually not quite appropriate I really did just want a regular plate at the surfing establishment of course how many people even go to a surfing establishment is a surfing establishment luxurious would a surfing establishment even have a bar probably I mean that's just a no-brainer right you probably go to like some hotel by the countryside not the countryside, the coast side, but I guess depending on where you are, where you live, that could be the same thing. I'm not really sure. Is a countryside, can a countryside and coast, coast side, a coastal region coexist? Or is that just like so contrary? What makes up a countryside? I should probably look that up as well, but I'm in the middle of getting eaten by sharks and trying to dodge mines that were set up by the military approximately around the era of World War One, and were just never removed, never cleared. Which is, again, one of the many things that is going shameful about this universe. A uh, uh, universe where we allow sharks to actively be predatory towards surfers. And also giant fish, which uh, kind of look like aliens. But maybe that's maybe the alien eyes were inspired by fish. And I'm thinking about it the other way around. And I died. And I, I'm thinking about it the other way around. Can a countryside and coastal region be the same thing? Oh, there's an actual wiki diff page on this. I don't think this helps at all. A rural landscape versus pertaining to a costa because it's an adjective related to the rib. I I never heard of that. You learn you do learn something new when you do look it up using your favorite search engine. The coast, also known as the coastline or seashore, is defined as an area where land meets the ocean or as a line that forms the boundary b between the land and the coastline. Okay, what what is a countryside? Rural area. In general, a rural area or a countryside is a geographic area, area that is located outside towns and cities. Typical rural areas have low population density and small settlements. Agricultural areas and areas with forestry typically are described as rural. Uh, and different countries have varying definitions of rural. So in theory, a a, a coastline, I think, can be a countryside. That is assuming this is the countryside is outside of a town and city, has low population density and small settlements, and has forestry nearby w with agricultural areas, which I think is okay for agri like agriculture to be nearby a coastline. I don't know. It's a question for some sort of ecologist to figure out that they haven't told the public yet and there's going to be like an ecologist that's going to blow everyone's mind like in the same way that one of the things that'll blow our minds is actually trying to soundproof against thunder has anybody uh, heard of this uh, trying to soundproof against thunder because you know thunder has so many uh, sub bass frequencies that are basically impossible to naturally soundproof against that they uh, 
can effectively get through any building, I think is a, I think an audio engineer with experience would agree with that assessment. And I'm just saying like, there are some things scientifically that we haven't quite figured out. And one of those scientific things is just the country versus coast. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard road out there for coastal peeps because I mean, how different is it between the coastal peeps? I mean, some people will say coastal elites, but I, I'm not even talking about coastal elites, right? I'm trying to examine the mixture of rural and coastal patterns, uh, areas, regions, those sorts of the exact sort of the, the exact regions that are subject to an analysis, not simply by, I, I guess, a sort of cultural commentary, but by ecologists who are trying to examine how much of of the land is owned as a public park versus how much of it is used for commercial purposes, right? These are, uh, of course, descriptions that can only be fulfilled by those who are PhDs in all subjects that have a regard for meticulous analysis. I don't even know what I, what did I jump into there? I, if I go off screen, do I just die? Oh yeah, you just take damage, I think. I can't tell right now because I'm not on the screen. I'm actually not on the screen and I just died. Not being on screen. If you're, I got the off screen death. That should be an achievement. Now, they, now I think a bit more games should have an achievement for like an off screen death. That's like uh, something <laughs> I, well, I'm going to make a reference here. That's like something Joseph Anderson would try to do in the Star Wars game. Try to get an off screen death, like in a way that defies the camera movement placement, all sorts of other mechanisms that you can use to define a camera. And all sorts of other mechanisms that you could use to uh, post on Twitter and get amass millions of views and try to create your following. Wait a minute, it's not even called that anymore. Wow, there's there do be a lot of drama surround uh, drama surrounding uh, certain social media platforms nowadays, aren't there? It's because uh, when you're surfing the web, you're bound to run into sharks. And what's a shark online, but a scammer, I guess. I should not have said, I guess, there. I, Because I feel I could have played it massively well, better off. To be been so much better off as a, as a person in terms of my welfare, in terms of like the actual benefits I'm going to get as a result of making the joke. But instead, I just made myself a cost, all the benefit and all the benefits. I effectively can't use the national anthem as uh, my own personal creed uh, in, in the yearbook that once hosted my face for uh, purposes of academia speaking of which no not speaking of which because i'm not i'm gonna completely veer off the topic i just mentioned about uh yearbooks but really i don't see a reason to ever collect the crates i think the crates i keep trying to get them and it's just not worth it they just give you power-ups but who cares about the power-up the point is to dodge everything that I think, honestly, I I think this is, this game is undodgeable. Everything right now, you cannot dodge normally. I, my eyes do not have the frame rate to comprehend my 1444, I'm, I'm spoiling it, 1444 hertz monitor. I think this game is like, it's too fast for it. And I should have tried to run this in under 30, on a, a cinematic 24 hertz like my favorite anime. Oh, by the way, let me get my favorite anime scenes, uh, Cowboy Bebop. Let me get the right fight scene and then try to run it at 60 hertz and always interpolate it and make it seem much better. It's just so much more action. It's as if Spike has has to just... Wait, this thing is Spike, right? I forgot. <laughs> as, as if Spike versus Vicious has to just use a tiny bit more animation uh, energy just to actually get his legs to hit the sword wielded by his enemy i'm not a big uh because because the re the reason why i bring up frame rate honestly I, on top of talking about frame rates i i think this game is kind of giving me a headache the reason why i bring up frame rate is because i know some games just can't run they cannot run on 60 frames traditionally and you actually have to use V-Sync to either stop them from using, from running your GPU into the ground because of coil wine, 
or because it messes with the physics that are embedded in the game. And similarly, I wonder if I if I restrict this to a crisp 24975 because that is what my camera runs at frame rate if I'm able to make the game even be just a little bit more clear than normal. What's the point of this against the Oh, I guess it destroys the missiles. Okay, here, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm just dodging them. Oh, that one went horizontal in there. Boom. See, I'm finally learning the pattern because I can't, I can't play games like for anything anymore. I think the uh, I don't really have. Nah, never mind. No, 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 no. Because you know what? You know what? I'm not getting dragged into drama. Do I look like one of the most popular streamers on Twitch? No way. I'm not going to farm 10,000 views using the. The methods of the drama, I'm going to use the Northern Line method wherein I play Super Auto Pets and post 600 episodes and get approximately one subscriber for every second an episode is. And usually the average length of the, one of those episodes is like, what, 26 minutes? I mean, it, you know, it's, it's a good amount of work. I have to give, I gotta give the Lion of the North. And I'll obviously, I'm, I'm massively inspired by Northern Lion. Okay, because what other person would play obscure indie games the same way he does? It's obscure indie games like Super Auto Pets and uh, Binding of Isaac, apparently. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Of course, Binding of Isaac is one of the most probably well-known, even well-regarded roguelikes. Roguelikes, right? I don't know if it's a light. I think it's a... Because I don't, I don't know if there are benefits to playing the game and building up a repertoire, your inventory, like in Hades, I'm not sure. I wouldn't know any of that. Because I've never played, I've never played. What was it? Was it Hades or Binding of Isaac? I'm, I don't play games. Is this a game? Well, I just said a game start. So look at that. Answers come easily. In the same way that I search for answers on my favorite search engine i do get similar quality answers by the game provided within this uh this executable because i'm not on linux right surprise surprise i'm not a linux person i can't be i, can, I just don't want to put in the effort to learn how to use wine and I'm, i would rather whine and moan about it than actually use wine because that was a very obvious joke for anyone anyone to make there's just too much going on. Like, I, I actually have a headache from all the flashing lights. Yeah, I'm dodging torpedoes. Th this is a very unorthodox way of launching torpedoes. I think this, I honestly might cut, like, might dim the brightness of this game because of all of the flashing lights. I think I'm going to do that. I think that is, um, like, a reasonable thing to do. This game is, like, kind of too hard. Well, wow, I'm at the halfway point for once. I finally focused enough mega board, and this is gonna do nothing for me. It's just gonna make it harder to play the game. It's just like the watermelon from the tomato game. It's just, uh, and it went away. All right, okay, dodge. See, so went right through it, just like uh, lasers that do be blinking in a game like Sly Cooper. I just dodged the mine because you know I, I get the heck out of dodge, like, like the ways goes. Ooh. The, this this guy looks like a pizza tower character. Hidden speedboard. Oh, cool. Hidden influence for pizza tower. Okay, I'm at 300. Am I finally gonna make it? I'm not gonna make it. I can't. I got full health, but it's too hard. Too many sharks. Too many cooks in the water. Oh man, I don't. These these guys are just impossible to dodge. How am I gonna dodge this dude? There's gonna be the second the second instance. Oh, I don't even know where I am. Like, I made it to 200. I'll give it a few more tries because I have potential. Above all, right, I'm capable of great things just like everyone else. And that uh, also goes for bears dodging sharks. We are all capable of being a bear who can dodge a shark. That's probably a certain type of hide and seek in a furry convention. I don't know what the sharks would be titled. They're not scalies, are they? Or, I, don't, I don't know the terminology well enough. The only understanding I have about the furry culture comes from uh, my 
uh, the guy named Your Movie Sucks. So I have no idea if people like him or hate him. Probably hate him. If people hate Fantano for just spouting the same indie heads, <laughs> generic takes on music, there are people who probably hate Your Movie Sucks for saying the Spider-Verse sequel is a 7 out of 10. That's just, that's my guess. And again, these are like unorthodox torpedoes, which why who's like who has it out for this bear to even launch torpedoes of this sort and then to have what is like a metal gear solid tier weapon of mass destruction over here launching torpedoes and now you have a a sort of crystal ball shooting cannonballs in addition how does that even work how do you even fit that many cannonballs into a crystal ball i'm going to my local fortune teller yeah in your future and all of a sudden the crystal ball is it's just a bunch of you know what i'm gonna it's just a bunch of cannons i mean i guess that's how you would do it right like technically a crystal ball can fit a bunch of cannons inside it but in a way that you would not expect it's not that it's actually holding the cannons the the balls i guess you have to just outrun the sharks i don't know man i don't i'm barely understanding i barely un, i can't i'm like uh one of the best to quote one of the best Dota players ever, I don't know what the fuck is going on my screen. See, again, this is that's just unnecessary, okay? We're not in like a Tame Impala music video. I don't need the combination of Neo Psychedelia to both arise from the song and from the the in-game graphics, okay? Like it's like I'm playing the video game Wander song. I see all these rainbows and oh my, like how am I? It, it's going diagonal. It's supposed to be horizontal and it just goes it's 45 degrees. I've, I trusted the 180. It's my bad. It's my bad. I trusted the 180 degree for once in my life, right? I got the, out the protractor. I'm trying to measure what is on my screen using all sorts of calculations that were ordained to me by the powers of Newton. Because I'm a Newton fan, not, the, not of the food, which probably ripped off Newton. I, and look, I also, I just find figs to not be a great fruit, okay? I do not, I, I don't entirely enjoy eating them, especially because, you know, according to the famous King Gizzard song, uh, I believe it was a uh, big fig wasp. I, I just do not really enjoy the idea of wasps inhabiting figs. I think that is like a little bit, a little bit too strange for me. Oh man, I okay. This is gonna be the last run because the flashing lights are just too much for me. I uh, if that has to be like one of the most, just like uh, I said it. I said it in response to the top hat run and gun, whatever it was the fear chukins. That's what it was. I said it there, and I'll say it again. Flashing lights are just way too much, right? I'm not even. I think that sensitive to flashing lights. I've seen a few flashing lights back in my day. Not, um, not necessarily in person, but on my computer monitor. And I just think it it should not be done. There's a reason why it was done, why it was toned down in Earthbound when they ported it to the virtual console. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say the same thing. Similar, pre pretty much the same thing, but even stronger here. I don't think that flashing lights should really be in video games at all. There are ways to have interesting graphics that are not flashing lights. And yeah, that's, fortunately that's from that's that's gotta be me. I'm I'm actually getting a little bit of a headache on the right side of my like the front part of not not the front part, like the mid the mid part of my left part the left hemisphere right in the middle. I'm getting a little bit of like stress. Just freaking my eyes out a little bit too much. I'm gonna freak it like I'm a certain VTuber. So fortunately that's that's all I got for the game. I know I didn't beat it. I know I'm I'm not a good gamer. But the most I could say is I just have certain tolerance for flashing lights there. For the, the amount of graphics that are being thrown into my corneas, my retinas, to quote a familiar streamer. And of course, this is the section where we review the community. So this game has... Boom. This game, Bear Surf and Mega Wave, has around 32,000 views. That is a massive number. 
and 81 likes. Again, a massive number for compared to the first, what, like eight to nine games. Sheep Goes to Space has 20,000 views and 86 likes. So I guess people like this game more in terms of a like to view ratio. See, 81. And the unfinished game has basically half the views and only portion of the likes. But that's kind of neither here nor there. Okay, we're not we're not here about unfinished games. We're here about we're here about Bear Surf and Mega Wave. And clearly, this was another game that caught even more attention than Sheep in Space. Apparently, surfing bears is greater than astronaut sheeps. I think all the sheep fans just got blown out. Here, here's some of the comments. Just gonna highlight what is the best of the bunch, in my opinion. Right? If if you commented here and I don't highlight it, um, I kind of apologize. Maybe. Okay. So Nick says, "Holy moly, my mind is dead," and I have to agree with Nick here, because. Man, I, I think that fried my brain a little bit. Just saw the colors, the flashing lights. I'm sorry to keep, like, bringing it up. Keep, you know, I feel that's a genuine, genuine problem with the game. Just too, it is, uh, I think the term here, it is too ostentatious. I think is, a, is an okay way to describe this game. Aquaro Games says, cool game yet very hard, but I like a challenge. Yeah, this is a very challenging game. Lots of things that, for me personally, I uh, don't quite... If I tried to experiment more, I would understand how to actually adapt to the sharks. Unfortunately, I'm not a card shark. <laughs> well, I, I barely know what card shark means. Here, awesome, my eyes are bleeding. Happiness says, what thorough? And again, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think your eyes should be bleeding. You should avoid that as best as you can. Maker Man Can 102 has commented, that was pretty fun. The art is great as always. The fact that sharks chase after you made it so stressful. I liked the arcade element of the game, but I think I liked the trial and error part of it a lot less. I also couldn't find a strong enough reason to go out of my way to collect the crates because supercharged didn't seem to help too much. I gave up on the part with the torpedoes. And in reply, thank you for your feedback, says Jay Clover. I agree with you about the crates. Thanks. I was avoiding the crates and it was fun. <laughs> well, this person avoided crates. So yeah, it seems like there actually is a little bit of agreement about the crates. I'm actually surprised um, that I guess people agree with me on that because I have, I have the hottest, spiciest takes. So spicy that I, the hot weather that arises from the takes will summon large waves. El Nino, for the ecologists out there, the two ecologists currently hitting up the analytics in the spare time when they're done at the uh, local lab sampling from the, the, the park that is supposed to house all the representative wildlife. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, uh, so to, I think I just agree with Man Can here. The arcade element is cool, but I think all the games are pretty much, now that I think about it more and more, there's a, the arcade element is very much present in all these games, which I think is to, to say that these games are very much like real fast and with one life. I, th but, but that, I don't truly know what arcade means. So I'm just kind of putting that out there. I'm, I'm flipping the pancakes, leaving the pancake dish out there. But I don't know if people are going to cut up the pancake halfway or if they're going to put syrup on it. I'm just, I'm leaving the pancake out there. I cooked it. And that's about it. I, I would say the trial and error part, I didn't try to lean into it too much. But I do, I can always agree that I don't like doing trial and error too often. That's just me. I didn't find a strong enough reason to go out of my way to collect the crates. That's and again, I agree with I agree with that the, completely. I gave up on the part with the torpedoes. I agree completely. The again, the crystal, not literally the crystal ball. I'm just saying that because that's 
Well, I'm just spinning it out, right? Again, leaving it out. <laughs> okay, I need to stop going back to that. I think the torpedoes mixed with the cannonballs, too much. Too hectic. It's blasting me out of the waves. Didn't realize how funny that supercharged image is until oh, just now. Well, I, for me, the supercharged, man, it, it was blasting my eyes. It, it, it was sending out waves that would go through my eyelids if I try to close them. Well, Pixel. I don't know why Jake is being addressed like that. Maybe that was like their former name. Probably, I guess. I'm thinking the Pixel House games, but I don't think that all the games have been addressing the author as Jake Clover. I don't know where Pixels is arriving from here. You've outdone yourself with this one. It's super challenging. Art is great. The music's great. It's just dumb fun. If only there was an easier mode that only that has only half amount of time. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, I don't know what else I can contribute to that. I don't. I think the game is mostly the right difficulty. It's just for me. I, I just can't take the visuals and the visuals when the, when the visuals are just so intense like I know like skill issue I should just like get better eyes right and I gotta I gotta be like a augment my eyes and get in the Deus Ex in the future put on the same sunglasses JC Denton has I understand that a little bit maybe I could put on like sunglasses but at the same time like it, there's just too much being thrown at the player on top of the difficulty I mean like the cosmetic stuff is too strong I very rarely say that, by the way. I don't think I'd, I'd say, like, the appearance is too strong for any other game I think I've ever, I've really played. Like, maybe post-Void. Post-Void is an obvious one. I'm sure uh, many people have heard of post-Void. So this game, post-Void, probably too much, right? Just look at this. Look at this game. So many bright lights. The, the bloom has been turned up. The bloom option, I don't even know if you can turn it down in this game. Yeah, that's too much. Shamefully, I didn't make it to the end. Man, no shame. I was saying for me, dude. It's difficult, but I did feature this on my Let's Indie series on the YouTube channel. Yeah, well, this person has the same experience I did. And also has a name that is very similar to a familiar Smash Bros. gamer. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. Because I don't, I don't know if that dude was canceled. Just finished a let's play and I didn't get to the end, but I will eventually keep the good work. What, why did you use a link shortener for your game? Heckler X doubled. Don't use a, I don't know. I feel like more likely a link shortener is going to be, is going to be not permitted than just posting the YouTube link. A YouTube link is like immediately recognizable, especially 10 years ago. I think we all knew what YouTube was in 2013. Very hard game, yep. Oh, this is not available on Mac. Just an interesting... Yeah, that's right. They, you can't use the EXEs on Mac, right? Nearly had an aneurysm because of the flashing colors and explosions. XD. Exactly. So this person... Completely agree. Completely agree. Another Let's Play. Oh, no, it's the same dude, but this they returned with the full link. I, <laughs> what are they getting at? Jelly Gal. The one constant... Like in Hitman, but I'm using the word differently. The one constant of all these. This game is awesome. The intro is hilarious. The graphics are great. And the music is completely fitting. The gameplay is super fun. It's kind of a mouse avoider. Interesting way to describe this sort of genre, I guess. With really ridiculous obstacles, such as the fire-breathing fish. The problem I have with a lot of arcade games is that the difficulty scales so much that when you go back in after dying, it seems really boring. But this game is completely insane the whole way through. Recommend it to everybody. Play this game, I say. Yeah, I completely agree. I And I feel if uh, this this game, I don't think is bad when you have to restart. It It's just to me, uh, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be a broken record. I'm sorry. This is the one time I'm, I'm repeating myself. It's just to me, it is too much to to get to go through the visuals, through the insanity of the game. Just a little bit too tiring and kind of hurts my brain a little bit. Not that easy to see some of the wave stuff. It says macro feet, like giant feet. I wonder what this person means by giant feet. Original. In some ways, it is original. True. The visuals definitely aren't the clearest. That is 
I would agree with that, of course. Not use WinZip? What is that in reply to? As a Canadian, I appreciate the accurateness. I, I think you mean accuracy, but I guess that is a different way of saying a word. And, you know, what is hip-hop but trying to find new ways to say the same thing, right? I appreciate the accurateness of the surfing bear. You know what? Me too. Yeah, me too. Does this game give you XP for scores? I guess that's a game jolt feature. And I'm surprised there's actually a reply by Jake here. What score? This game, what kind of score would you even record in this game? I'm not quite certain. Another let's play. Another game. Or uh, let's play. Dude, this game is killer, man. The presentation, gameplay, and pretty much everything else is like far out. But like, I couldn't get down past 700. But that's cool too. The intro is pretty sick too. Five out of five. Can you imagine giving? I don't mean this in like a in a way that's mean. You know, I, but I mean like imagine you play a game, you think it's really hard, but you never finished it. Like dwarf, maybe Dwarf Fortress, I guess for some people, and just give it a ten out of ten. I don't know. Interesting. Inter interesting way to, you know, like you you put on some Merzbau music. I hope that's how you say his name. Merzbau music. Like it's full of harsh noise, some prurient, and it's just, psh, 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 and it's like, man, I, I can't listen to this harsh noise, but th it's so challenging, and I really like the aesthetic. I'm giving it a 10. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you would uh, see music that way. And finally, the next part of the media review is how people have rated it on Glitchwave, because this is the only place where people will collect their ratings for one consensus average rating with some weight to it depending on how often you've used the site because you don't want people to just you know brigade the, the website right and try to blast uh, a certain rating upward so bear surfer and mega wave is considered just an action genre all right very broad but i would say appropriate and has a 1.5 out of 5 being a 3 out of 10 out of 2 ratings and as always this is the same two people plus a, a new dude i i don't know they really want to play the game someday they just haven't gotten around to it in the last two years this person i think rated this so muriel rated it one point higher than usual usually they give a 4.5 and shandin mandin came back with the iconic 1.5 out of 5. And as always, I'd like to mention, Shandine literally allowed this page to exist. That's the part that you're going to see. You're going to see the fruits of it. Just m mark the word right here, the single word, contributor. Yeah, not much to uh, go elsewhere on Glitchwave. Now here is where I pretend I have the same degree of analysis as Matthew Matosis and try to design to comment on the design or design the commentary. Mechanics. You basically just have a mouse. You're moving the surfboard. For the resource management, you have three lives that you can replenish with a health kit. And you have a super meter. A super meter that builds up with crates. Is it fun? Yeah, I think that this is, this is pretty fun, pretty quick, pretty fast. I like games that are fast and furious, like uh, the Dominion. That's an old school reference. I think it's too much fun. Just too too many colors on screen. It's uh it's like the the whole like zoomer meme. Yeah, yeah, I gotta have the sensory video in the bottom left, and then I need like subray surface taking up the entirety of its like vertically positioned way on the right side of my monitor, and then I gotta have <laughs> I gotta have like a Germa video up in the top left, and then I need I need like a fourth video of a music of some sort of music video so i can listen to my favorite soundtracks and not skip skip them because uh, i have to maximize the time i don't know if i described that very well there ease of use yeah it's very easy to use you use the mouse you move the surfboard I'm starting to wonder what this section really means for graphics i think that the i guess sprites the sprites look nice but of course there are too many colors uh, again, maybe this is just me. I'm a little bit sensitive to that stuff. I'm usually not. And um, very rarely, like what I'll say is the reason why I have 
why this this document is dark right now is because I prefer dark mode over light mode. And similarly, when I'm when it's like kind of dark where I am and I have just this bright screen flashing at me, it's it just does disrupt your eyes. And this game is like that feeling times 10, approximately 10, maybe 11, 11.13. Too many colors is what I'll say and too bright. For the soundtrack, I'm going to guess that the song is Neo Psychedelia. I did make a Tame Impala reference. I think that makes sense. I think that's about what I would say. It's kind of like also the King Gizzard, again, another reference to an, another Australian group. Well, I know Tame Impala is a single guy, but I, how else do you put another Australian musical act? That's a, okay. That now I got the universal term for musical people inserted. Sorry. Sorry. So I got the Neo Psychedelia angle from like Tame Impala and King Gizzard's Butterfly 3000. That's, that's that sort of vibe. For sound design, I don't remember. I'm guessing that there were explosions. Sorry, I, I need to pay more attention. I need to hear, use my ears, which is which is interesting because you can tell I listen to quite a bit of music and I just, I, I'm, I think I'm too busy doing commentary to like remember the sounds. Story and writing, I think it's, as, as I always say, has its charm. There's a gnarly wave, dude. You got to ride it. And we all know that when the wave arri arrives, you got to ride the waves. When the ship is going, setting for sea, you got to set sail along with it. Is it repetitive? I do not think so. It's so fast, you forget the repetition. That's the best way I'm going to put it. I, I did not feel that I was like going through the motions over and over again. It felt actually as if the experience remained closely to the initial experience. Like the, the fifth try I felt was similar to the first try. Or does it stand in the wider scheme of all things gamer? I do agree that this is a an arcade game. I, I barely know what that term means, but I just know it sounds right with, with action. Again, it just sounds right. It's a surfing game, dude. Dude! That's another Joseph Anderson reference. I don't know what else to say. I, I think the premise is short, but definitely not common. Um, when I say that, I mean, it's not like this, it's not this grand written masterpiece like Planescape Torment, but it's not, it, it's it's a unique setting. You're not going to find the setting anywhere else. Maybe you'll find the gameplay elsewhere, though, and this actually is a segue into the final point here. Where does it stand amongst the work of the developer? So, Jake Clover, I would say 10 games in, definitively has this style of of arcade, arc, I would say arcade games that rely on the mouse mostly to be the main vector of mu of movement to avoid obstacles. And the obvious three cases are Roadkill Bonanza 3, Draco Mortis, and Ch Chook Driving Extreme, I think is how you pronounce Chook or Shook. And when you think about it, Roadkill Bonanza 3 means that this is Roadkill Bonanza 4, and this is 5, so this is Roadkill Bonanza 6. I think the piece of the puzzle has been solved, finally, and uh, it just took, it took a little bit of calculations, a little bit. What am I saying? If I had to describe this game, as you see, I'm starting to provide genres right next to the games that have been reviewed briefly. It's, so I say this is an endless runner, but it's not endless, but I haven't seen the ending. I think I would say just an arcade action surfer. I'm just gonna quote everyone else. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not the best uh, at labeling genres, not even for music, I, in my opinion. Right, which is, you probably take my opinion a little bit there. But I think um, 
what what I gave for so I put RK driving for Chook driving extreme, endless runner. That's kind of the other thing. I mean, I could say like driver, endless driver, eat him up for Draco Mortis, even though it's not like like I don't know what I'll, how you would describe Draco Mortis, right? I'm not saying that these games are genreless. There definitely is a genre you could ascribe to a lot of the games here, but. I don't know. Uh, when when we think of Dark Souls, we just say Souls like, <laughs> and of course, some people think it's funny we call Metroid and Castlevania games, as you obviously expect to be Metroidvanias. It just seems like we don't have the most accurate names for these, maybe, or or that these the names for the genres is what I mean are very broad. They're not always like to the point. Like, you might be able to say for, I'm trying to think of a music genre, you might be able to say that progressive rock with jazz influences that is that is derived from a specific part of England could be Canterbury scene music. That is like a very specific genre label. In general, it seems like we don't have specific genre labels. So I don't I don't know what I'm trying to get at. I'm just saying um, I guess I shouldn't expect specific genre labels to be applied to games overall. But there are ways that we understand how to characterize them. I guess, nonetheless. I don't know if I made that point concisely or with clarity, but that is my attempt. Okay, GGs and good games. What do I what do I say? Um Bear Night Fever, Disco Night Suffering, Disco Bear Fever. How about that? Disco Bear Fever Disco Disco Night Surfing Surfer? Disco Night Surfer. Okay, yeah, whatever. GG's good games.